everybody, welcome back. Today I am going to join uh, Crafty Cat's hashtag 50 stack challenge. I am behind, but I'm going to jump in on uh, the guest check 3, which is blue, and 4 is orange, and then I will just have to work in the 1 and 2. I'll go back to that. I don't know when I'll get to it, but as soon as I can, I'll jump back in and get those. So if you're interested in that, check out her channel. Um, we're going to be completing a whole stack of these, which is awesome. <laughs> it's always nice to be kind of pushed to get these things out and do them. So I'm going to start with number 3, which is blue. I've already um, pulled a few things just so you guys would not have to sit around as I fumble through um, my supplies to try to find something. So and this I'm just working on bits of um, scrap I'm going to try to use and I don't know this had some writing on it but I'm just going to try to erase that so that I can use this piece. And I'm going to try not to overthink this project. <clears throat> so I want some of the music sheet page. This was a bit in my scrap. Uh, I think this is probably Tim Holtz. So somehow I want to use this in the background. And I've got this label, but I like the idea really of more. Okay, I'm going to have to play around with this because I want more of this showing. So let me just get some, some bits down here. Okay, just going to tear these and get these down. Um, let's see what, how this is going to look. I love this paper. Okay, let's get this. And I like the idea of a bit of this in the corner <coughs> as well. Okay, I'm just going to trim this up. <coughs> so we'll just get a little bit more of the blue down here in this corner. And I'll just trim this up and then we'll just go ahead and collage this and hopefully this is going to come out okay. Ok, 
Okay, I like that. I don't know if I need this or, or not. Mm. I think maybe over here somehow. But I kind of like the idea of it being under. Yep, I'm just going to go with it. I like that the underneath. So that's kind of layered. I always find uh, these are so difficult for me to um, to get the backing off of these. Uh, I hope this isn't going to take too long, guys. <laughs> I apologize. I always, always struggle with this. Okay, here we go. Slowly, slowly. Peel that off. Okay, let me see. Do I want to eat this one? I'm just going to ink this really lightly. It seems like I've been doing a lot of the dark distressing lately. and I kind of like the light colors on this one. I think it's kind of a bit fresher looking. Okay, guys, um, that's my number three, which is the blue, and I'm now going to jump on to the orange one, and let's see what I can come up with on this. I've pulled out a few things. And again, it's all scraps um, that I had in my little stash, so that's amazing when you can make use of that. And that happened to be orange, so I'm happy about that. Got a little sticker here, an orange butterfly. I've got a cutout that I had made I didn't need. And then this was gifted to me, I believe. And then just some measuring tape. So, um, hmm. So I'm just going to start cutting this one out. And just kind of decide how I think I want to do this one. Okay, I 
actually think I'm going to use most of this one because I like the idea. of all of that getting covered, but I will save a little piece because I think maybe I can do something along the bottom. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, I'm just going to go with it, guys. I'm going to try my best to, um, I won't say get quicker, but just not second-guess myself so much. Because I think part of the problem for me <clears throat> is I want to get to where I'm, I'm doing my art journaling more. But as it stands, I'm kind of, it's like when I pull it out, I feel like, oh my gosh, you know, it's going to take me so long. And I'm trying to, to break away from taking so much time and overthinking things. Oh, I like that there. I'm going to definitely put that in that corner. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I've got the humming, the windows open and the hummingbird feeder is right outside the little window here. And um, you can hear them buzzing around. Whoops. Ooh, nearly put that upside down. Yeah, I like that. I could have used this circle as well, but I'm not going to bother with that one. So let me get this down and I'm going to see if there's anything else I want to put on here. It would help if I had nails. <laughs> this is uh, frustrating. Okay, there we go. Okay. Again, I'm just going to lightly distress this with some ink because I don't want to go too dark.
want to put that under the butterfly? Mm, I don't know. I don't think I will, actually. Oh, I don't know. Now I'm thinking maybe I should. Just for a bit more interest. Yeah, I think it. I think I'm just going to go for it. If I regret it, well, you know, I guess that's all part of it, isn't it? Okay, and that's me done, guys. So, that was pretty quick. I'm very, very pleased about that because uh, I want to be able to do more of these challenges. So let me show you up close. I'm very happy with how that came out. And you saw how fast I was able to do that. So that's very encouraging. And then this one, I love the blues. Yeah, I'm very happy with those. So I hope that uh, you guys have enjoyed that little process video. And uh, I hope it will encourage you to start finding some challenges and get involved. Because I think it... It does kind of help, um, particularly, I struggle with collaging, so I'm hoping that this is going to really, um, you know, take me to another level on the collaging. I'm very happy with those. So, okay guys, I will see you here soon. Take care. Bye-bye.